Welcome back to Peace, Love and Tarot. This reading is for Cancer, Sun, Moon or Rising. And Cancer, this is your weekly intuitive tarot reading for the week of March 16th to the 22nd. This week we have for you the Trust Your Path Oracle card. We have the beautiful, fresh new beginning energy of the Fall, with the Page of Cups, the Ace of Wands, the Queen of Swords, Queen of Cups and the King of Pentacles. Interesting energies here, Cancer. Um, I really strongly feel that you didn't see this coming. There's an opportunity that has potentially come out of the blue. Um, but, you know, we have trusting the new path here backed up again in the tarot cards. So I think that you couldn't see it coming, but now, you know, or what's going to unfold this week is you absolutely see where this could lead you, and it's somewhere pretty exciting. So before we go to the tarot cards, just going to read out the oracle card for you. Trust your path. If you knew you would be supported, what would you do? The universe is conspiring. Keep facing your true north. Your job is not to pave the path, but simply to keep facing your true north and take one step after another. If you do this, you can't go wrong. The universe is conspiring. Don't waver or doubt. Use your heart as a compass and put one foot in front of the other. If you follow the invisible trail of what lights you up, you will light up the world without even trying. So that's very interesting, Cats, just reading out the first part of that oracle card there. Uh, really strongly feeling this as well. There's something that is coming in for you or has already come in for you that was unexpected and it's something that really lights you up and can really go the distance here. You're being asked to take that opportunity and to trust where it's heading. So I want to start here with the Page of Cups and the Ace of Wands. Now, some of you could have already had this opportunity come in or for some of you it could be coming this week. So the Page of Cups, for me when I see this card, especially in this context, what goes through my mind is expect the unexpected. The Page of Cups has an element of surprise, of synchronicity. You know, we have a fish jumping out of a cup here. It's about, you know, that really kind of creative left field energy, something, you know, where you least expected it at the least, you know, the timing, maybe you thought the timing was really off, but it turns out that it's in perfect timing after, you know, you have that hindsight. Um, and the Ace of Wands, when we talk about something that lights us up, the Ace of Wands is exactly that energy. It is an offer or an opportunity that sets your soul on fire, that is full of passion and purpose. Um, you know, and guys, this will be different for all of you as a general reading, but this combination can be an emotional offer um, that really, uh, you know, is full of passion as well. That can be in a love situation with romance. It could be with somebody who is younger, somebody who is maybe a little bit more immature, somebody who is creative and playful. And it could be a water sign as well. So a fellow Cancer, Scorpio or Pisces. doesn't have to be, but it can um, be somebody that has those qualities. Again, it could be uh, an offer on the work front that fulfills you emotionally and makes you feel creative, excited. It's on purpose for you. You know, it's aligned with your higher self as well. Now, the thing about this kind of offer or opportunity that comes in with the Ace of Wands is that these are the seeds, guys. But, you know, I feel like this is kind of like the path opening up in front of you. But you have to take that step through the threshold. You have to start the journey and you have to trust in it in order to do that. So it's not the fully materialized opportunity or thing that kind of falls into your lap or presents on a silver platter. It is the essence, but you have to take action. Ace of Wands, you know, Wands is the um, suit of our personal power of inspired action. So we need to take that wand and we need to use it. Um, but with this combination, I would be um, really open to synchronicities. And if you do, you know, experience a coincidence, maybe you should think this week, well, maybe this is not a coincidence. This is the universe conspiring and this is something worth exploring. And I am, you know, acknowledge that you are being asked to go with the flow here, to invest in this opportunity, to grow and expand it. Because, um, as you want to go here next, I think that you didn't see it coming, but as soon as you start to engage or connect with whatever that opportunity is, there's going to be no looking back. And I think it's going to be not far down the track where you get that aha moment, where you get the vision and clarity of where this is leading. Because the Queen of Swords, you know, she can see the big picture. 
So I feel like you're being offered a couple of pieces by the universe and when they come in you don't really know where they fit but it won't be long before you see that big picture and go oh okay now I know where this is heading and it, you might have a little bit of a you know a laugh to yourself about how the universe is playing this it's almost a little bit of a cosmic joke because the, the universe works in very mysterious ways to bring you what you need so just be on the lookout um you know so the queen of swords she sits on that cliff top and from that place she has a 365 degree view of what's going on and she can you know have that vision and clarity to see the opportunities. She can see where the pieces fall. She knows how to communicate clearly with what she needs to in order to strategically move this opportunity forward. And it's through seeing that big picture and having all the pieces to the puzzle um, that you know it's really transformative for her. That's where she, why she wears the butterfly crown. You know, she's transforming her reality through having the clarity, through staying clear and staying victorious as well. So I think that, you know, you're going to sort of have that insight of like, oh, actually, I think I know where this could be heading and I'm going to trust the path and start walking it because nothing else says trust your path in tarot cards, backing up that oracle card, than the fool with the king of pentacles. I mean, the fool is that new path expanding. It's a fresh new start, a new beginning. And the king of pentacles is probably the biggest card of trust and commitment in the tarot deck. So this is inviting you to trust this path and commit to walking it. So the Fool also asks you to, you know, take a leap of faith, to take a chance on this and to, you know, acknowledge that you might not know exactly where it's heading, although that Queen of Swords is going to help you with this, but walk it anyway, even though at this stage, I don't think you fully know where the destination is exactly heading, but you have a good uh, idea that this is where you need to go. Um, the fool just asks you to, you know, trust your instincts as well, that's the little dog there, and to start walking that path, even though there might be challenges ahead. And the King of Pentacles, you know, obviously is asking you to commit to that, to not look back. And the King of Pentacles also uh, is the promise of this opportunity, this path, leading you to great stability and abundance um, in terms of material um, physical, tangible, you know, pentacles type reality as well. It's something that could actually lead to your best life. For some of you, it could be in business with this King of Pentacles here. You know, we have uh, the indicator here that you're going to be feeling very passionate about this opportunity. It could be quite emotionally fulfilling for you. Well, the King of Pentacles can also be, uh, you know, he indicates that that realm of business and wealth as well. So some of you could be starting a new business, and if so, you are being asked to trust in that journey. Um, for others of you, yes, this could be love interests as well. And you know, the King of Pentacles could also be an Earth sign that you might be um, attracted to. It's kind of opposite to what I said about the Page of Cups. I know, guys, but it's a general reading, so there's more bases covered here. But the King of Pentacles could be somebody of Earth sign, in particular, a Taurus. And somebody who is maybe a little older than you, um, a boss or a mentor or just an older person in your life. Um, they don't have to be a love interest, but they could be also giving you advice on how to, um, how to continue or how to begin this new journey that you're setting off on. And where is it headed? Well, we don't know exactly um, cancer. You know, you are just being asked to trust in the journey. But we have the Queen of Cups here, which is undoubtedly your energy here. I really feel like it's leading you back to being fully integrated and fully connected with yourself. Now, in the Oracle card, we heard about using your heart as the compass. Uh, I used to think that, that maybe that sounded a little bit corny, but I'm really beginning to realize that the heart is one of our key brain centers, guys. The heart and the gut. In fact, the heart has a lot more electrical impulses than our brain even. And the Queen of Cups is the ultimate person who is heart-led. She's compassionate. She's empathetic. And she knows how to... Uh, you know, control her um, the emotional side of her so that she can listen to the heart and let it guide her and allow that to be the compass along the way. That's how we know we're heading in the right place. We're quiet in the mind and we listen to the true wisdom within the body. Um, the Queen of Cups also is your energy cancer. She's that water sign about you being in your power, about being unstop unstoppable, unshakable and unmovable even when you know emotions might run high on this journey she controls her emotions by keeping them in this gilded cup and it's up to her when she lets them out and when she you know parks them 
And I think she keeps it in that cup so she can listen to that compass, that heart, that inner voice, that inner wisdom that's guiding her on this journey. So Cancer, trust in the journey. You know, I think it came out of nowhere. I think you know that it's the right thing. You don't know where it's heading just yet, but it's leading to somewhere very stable, very committed and very heartfelt. So I'm going to leave it there, uh, Cancer. I hope you enjoyed the reading. Wish you all the best with this exciting new beginning. Do keep in mind it's a general reading, so it won't be for every one of you guys. Um, feel free to leave me a comment. Always love to know if it resonates and um, how it's unfolding in your daily life. And I'll see you back here next week for another reading.